So, Francois, Director for International Scientific Cooperation. Um, first of all, heartfelt congratulations to have the first R&D centre, international centre of Naval Group. Um, I just have got a few questions. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, we're going to get some quick questions. Uh, let's talk about the three uh, companies that's been chosen as the part of the R&D, Innovation Drive. Mm -hmm. You have come with a slogan called Start We Up. Yeah. And with this Start Three Up, H3 Dynamic, Bright Tree, and MYR Lab were selected. Mm -hmm. um, could you just share with us how were these three companies were selected? Yes, yeah, so, so in fact it's a, it's a um, complete process. Start We Up is a challenge. We put together five challenges in February. Uh, 150 startups have been uh, approached and uh, have an interest. 40 uh, really put an application with uh, all the details and, uh, and on this 40 we select 12 startups and we ask these 12 startups to pitch in front of um, our director of technical domains. So it was uh, six last, uh, 6th of June in Block 71, so here in, in, in Singapore. Singapore yeah. And it was also in duplex in the, uh, in the Singapore Embassy in Paris. Wow, okay. So we, we have a full duplex with the ambassadors uh, it was a nice event, and the 12 startups were very, very uh, convincing, and so we, we have a very difficult choice to make. But finally, we select uh, so, uh, this, this three startup. Um, Marlab and Bright Tree, uh, in fact, especially, uh, they were in a different challenge, but finally, they offer uh, quite a good solution for communication uh, networks. Mesh, auto mesh networks inside the ship. It's a real challenge to get the data, uh, all the new data, all the sensor data inside your ship. And um, we, wa we want to have a, a network which would be uh, able to evaluate new sensors, things like that. No more wire. So wireless communication inside your ship and even for uh, Marlab in, in case of fire. Yeah. Damage control, things like that, and we are able to reconnect and build a new network. So that, that, that's we, uh, are the reason why we select these two. They offer different technology to build these networks. Right. So it's more of a proactive approach. Yes. As opposed to a reactive one. Yes. Okay. So uh, that was good. Uh, and the third one was H3 Dynamics. Yes. H3 Dynamics. Have uh, several uh, technical domains that we we, we want. Uh, we are interested in it. Mm. They have a drone box mm. that work on land. But you know, ship is a moving platform. It's a, it's a little bit more tricky. Yes. We have all the experience of a moving platform, and the idea is to put a drone box inside your ship. Right. And small, uh, it's not so big things. Uh, it's not a, a big drone. But we have plenty of ship that we, in which we would like to add the sensors, right. and these new sensors we keep uh, um, the environment safe to, to have a, a better surveillance. So to have a UAV on, onto existing platform is very important, and to have a drone box that will be able to integrate to all these ship is something that we are looking for. And the solution of H3 Dynamics seems a good one that we will experiment and try to develop to have a moving. Uh, a drone box or a moving platform. Right. So, so that's already the topic. And speaking of H3 Dynamics, um, the drones that you mentioned, yeah. how long do you think they could be on, on the air given the fact that the winds are strong yeah. out in the sea? How do you think that could really work with? In fact, uh, they have also um, uh, another technology breakthrough that we, w we want to investigate. Yes. It's um, hydrogen battery. Okay. They, 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 they have a specific uh, system for uh, refer, um, um, putting this hydrogen battery on board, on, on board the, and we have uh, with this system several hours yes. without uh, uh, without difficulties and uh, the drone uh, they do not do the drone itself sure. so they, they have select several drones yes. and one of them is French yes. uh, and we are used to we know the company mm -hmm. uh, so we are confident that also the, uh, this drone is, is able to uh, operate into the rough environment, right. yes. So this drone, the hydrogen battery of H3 and the drone box, mm -hmm. then Naval Group experience, 
we, we, we have a real recipe for for success. Okay, so in short, then that's how that's the pathway you're going to, you're going to work with these three companies moving yes. forward. Right? Yes, okay. exactly. And, uh, and and you want to share anything about the uh, MY MYR lab? If there's anything that you want to speak about that company, you spoke about history Garden next. Yes. Um, so Mia Lab, for example, is, is a very small company. Yes. Uh, at the moment, I think they are only three. Okay. You know, it's a and um, they, they are uh, very focused on technology and where they they they, they find a new way of communicating and and putting relay for automation network. It's really uh, something uh, starting nearly from scratch. That's what start we are all about. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. But uh, you know, it's three uh, twenty-five. Uh, they, they have already a product. Yes. For for this company. They have yes. not really a product. They have some relays. They have the ID, and we will help them to grow. Yes. And, and then, yes. And perhaps we, we will be the first uh, use case for them. Okay. okay. So that's so so, and uh, but we are happy with that. It's really uh, what we said. We, we do not want to, to have a full scale solution. We want to have a, okay a good ID, keep the feasibility as uh, we are doing a proof of concept. So yes. we will do a real trial ownership. Yes. With this relay, with this communication system, and that will demonstrate that it's not only a good idea; it's not only a, it's feasible. Right. Oh, that's great. And can we talk more about the student exchange program um, yes. between the two countries, Singapore and France? Um, we mentioned about internship. Yes. And uh, how how is that um, going to work between the two nations? Or what's the plan for that? Can you share a bit more? Than that? Yes. So in fact, we, we have uh, already linked with uh, several universities here in Singapore, which are in, in the top uh, yes. university in the world. So uh, we are very uh, proud and happy to, to have this link. Mm. And also, there there is this um, strong relationship between France and uh, Singapore. Mm and the Ministry for Research and, and, uh, and Development in France link uh, with the Ministry here in Singapore to launch what they call the French Excellence Program, mm -hmm. the uh, method platform on the embassy in France, where we put several uh, internship offers yes. and students could uh, apply for that. And, uh, so we use this platform, we use our direct link, and I think uh, we need to merge both in order to, to bring the best uh, student to uh, find to this platform mm -hmm. and then uh, go to the internship. Um, the embassy will deal with all the administrative business, so visa, uh, all the travel and so on. Uh, the administrative business is dealt by the embassy. We have only to get, take care of the technical. It's really what we want. Okay. So we will select uh, the first one will come in January in in south of France. Uh, we have a part of our research center here, so it will stay six months. Mm. Six months in our teams, uh, artificial intelligence teams, mm. working with all the other guys on a real project, mm. and then it will be a perfect fit to come to the center of excellence and, and become one of our players. And how? Maybe it's too soon to, to say it now, but how would you think that would translate into future career prospects for both students from France or from Singapore? Um, I, I think it's a very good opportunity for students interested to the French culture. Exposure. A exposure to, 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 to discover France, discover the French culture. If they are happy with, with these cultures and happy to work with another group, we will offer surely something. And something, in fact, uh, we have already a very good network in France with uh, several companies and several universities. So, Insta Paris Tech, Polytech, and um, we discover they have a double diploma, double, double, double diploma yes. between yes. Uh, Insta Paris Tech and the National University of Singapore. Yes. 20 students every year, double diploma. We have a perfect uh, okay. fit to to select the, the right guy uh, to join our company. So we will surely offer uh, several things. So this double diploma is already 20 years old. Uh, uh, so it's running good and fast. And uh, there is, uh, we say, 20 French students coming here. Uh, it was 20 Singaporean students. Now it's more than 15, but uh, it's nearly balanced. So we have a, 
place to select French guy coming here or Singaporean, uh, it's, it's, it's a good way to do it. Oh, okay. Um, well, because the R and D itself, yeah. it's it's a very big spectrum of things, and one of which was start VR. Hmm. Is there any other areas apart from start VR that uh, is going to be looked into in Singapore? Yes, in fact, the, the idea will be to organize some events, uh, but also to work on the long term. So technical domain, so we have the four technical domain, artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, the so big data things, and additive fabrication. Mm -hmm. These four domains uh, will work, we will launch several studies, we will uh, answer some call uh, from Singaporean because it's a, a really some domain that Singaporeans have an interest in. Sure. So we will answer the call, try to, uh, to work together offering French uh, expertise to uh, Singaporean calls, um, merging or offering a um, combined offer with a Singaporean uh, startup or company uh, and using Naval Group expertise and some, something. So it's really these four domains. And we, from time to time, we will do events. So uh, I, next should be, uh, as uh, maybe you say, uh, Akaton. Uh, we imagine we have several subjects that we will put together and one of the subjects is to use artificial intelligence to optimize uh, drones, drone operations, mm -hmm. but not only UAV, also USV, UV, all together in front of us, some kind of threats and optimize the work of this. So that will, will be a, quite a challenge uh, and uh, it's a good subject for Akaton because we have sensor things, we have artificial intelligence because plenty of data and we need to optimize. So that could be a, a subject of interest that we will surely uh, put together for 2020 with a uh, university. Mm. Um, you can see that R&D is a, a very big thing and the you know, fi uh, first thing that uh, NAWA Group has undertaken to have a strong foothold in, in Southeast Asia and yeah. partnering yeah. with Singapore. So we wish you all the best. And thank you so much for your time, Stanzo. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.